SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. I've always been very aware of overexposure. Everything that I've done has always made the news. You know, work-wise, non-work-wise, my social life, my private life, my everything, children, not children, marriage, no marriage, whatever. But then one day you wake up and you're all grown up and you become fearless. You literally become fearless. Hello, my name is Nikkei Oshinoa. Today we're in offices of AOE Events and Entertainment and we are in Lagos, Nigeria, the city of aquatic splendor. <laughs> From the moment I came into Nigeria, I set up different businesses. My first experience in business was a restaurant, a Nigeria restaurant called Booker Express. And we had these cute bikes and they, you would call and order and we would deliver. It, it worked a treat. I think we all outgrew it. Um, my dream had always been to have a, a spa. Uh, the kind of places that my kind of place my mother would go to when we were growing up, you know, in, in England, and just luxuriate. But it meant you needed to be able to, you needed a lot of money to raise funds for it. I I I, I set up a company doing corporate gifts and diaries, and that's actually how I put together the money to uh, to set up Nigeria's very first day spa. Working on my first fragrance, my first. Uh, fragrance and I remember thinking what do I call it? I slept, woke up and wrote by the, on a little notepad by my bedside Ashabi and I wrote it a certain way and that way that I wrote it is the way it is on the bottle Ashabi. Ashabi is my oriki. It means one of chosen birth. It was Nigeria's very first uh, homegrown um, fragrance perfume. Oh, will I do another one? Maybe. All my businesses revolve around my likes. So me going into, um, I love food. I love sleep. I, uh, oh, I wish I could say I love to exercise. I don't, but I like to be healthy. <laughs> you know, to be healthy, you have to exercise. So I did a workout video. People actually connect me, link me with the fashion industry. I'm not so much about fashion. Um, what, I, what I am about is beauty, uh, hair, skin. I love anything that makes your skin glow. So I guess I'm a health and beauty girl. At what point did I give motherhood? A shot? Did I decide I'd give motherhood a shot? Well, I was brought up by a very sensible mother. You know, you know you can't have it, and really, there's so many other things you can have. So I didn't, I didn't spend all my time wanting children. Oh my God, I can't have wanting children. But that wasn't me. Uh, when I decided I would try, I took the steps. I, I always have my iPad. I literally. <laughs> and Googled how to do it, and I looked for how to go about it. And I, voila, I have my beautiful twins. I used a gestational carrier. I've never hidden the fact I don't believe in being dishonest with my, fan, with my fans. Uh, they came really, they came early. So, oh my goodness. <sighs> they came early, so. We, you know, we, the hospital decided to do something called kangaroo care. It helps you know, babies who come early um, develop faster. And um, so it means that they have to be completely naked. You have to be naked on top and they place them on you. And just the, just the warmth and the, and the feel of your, your, your body, your heart, everything. It, it, you, you, you sink into one and and then they cover you with a blanket and you just stay like that, you know, you just stay like that for a while. 30 minutes, 40 minutes and they sleep. You know God exists. You know, you feel him. You feel God through them. 
being a mum, how does it feel? What is, what's, what's it like to be a mum? Oh my goodness, unending joy. When, when your son says, mum, you know, he, he looks you in the eye and mum, he uses his whole lips, his whole mouth, mum, and my daughter calls me my mum. I know, it's ridiculous. So he, he's like, mama, she's like, mama, mama. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I gotcha. I had so much me time. Me time doesn't exist anymore. Me time? I don't have any me time anymore. I believe that we're here to grow and progress. So if I have achieved my goal and the, the, the next I'm on to the next dream, the next goal, the next whatever. Why TV and why late night? I like to be able to go there and to be able to discuss everything in a grown-up grown manner. And I knew the kind of programs I wanted to watch and it didn't really exist. So I, so I said, let's do it. So yes, I, I, I like late TV. I like the fact that no topic is off the table. We can talk about everything everything honestly responsible musician huh? sometimes <laughs> <laughs> having said that every single episode has been like laugh out loud funny as in i'm at home and i'm still i wake up and i'm like ha 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 still laughing out loud but no no shocking shocking i don't know shocking shocking no, you're killing me here. You're killing me here. <laughs> Do I consider myself a role model to young women? You know, whether we like it or not, we don't have that many female role models here. That's number one. Number two, we don't have many people who have been around as long as I've been around. So whether I like it or not, we have to accept the fact and I have to accept the fact that the things that I do, the things that I say, the way that I dress, the way that I carry myself, the way I live my life, the way I bring up my children, the food that I eat, the things that I drink, the air that I breathe, and how I do all of that. People are watching and maybe even fashioning their lives around it. Then I am a role model to a, a lot of young women, as well as women out there. And boy, it really is a spotlight. These two spotlights, hot. <laughs> Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle, and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.